This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today I have a special a new segment and video to present to you guys. Uh, I haven't done something like this before. I will be presenting to you or reacting to your crazy bag collections. And to initiate this segment, uh, actually just this week I've stumbled across uh, or upon um, a video by one of my beloved YouTubers, Bunny, aka Graveyard Girl. So I will be reacting to a small uh, selection of her bag collection video. Now, I will be posting uh, the link to Bunny's YouTube channel as well as Bunny's as well as the link to this particular video by Bunny, aka Graveyard Girl, in the description box down below. So I will be linking her. So please be sure to go check out her channel, subscribe to her channel, and watch her video in its entirety on her bag collection because she showcases in her video many more bags than I will be showcasing here. Here I'm just showing a little selection of them. Uh, you know, also to keep it within fair use, I also want, wish to support her. Not that she needs my support, she has a huge YouTube channel, but I just love her so much. She's, she's a little ball of positive energy and she's just a great little beacon of light. So I, I love, 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 love to share her content with you. So before we get to Bunny's crazy bag collection, um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube, a thumb up this video and show the algorithm that you're liking it. And um, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Decab all spelled together. Gain access to extra perks there as well. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. So I have all my co-reviewers and co-chatters waiting in the chat line on the side. If you wish to partake in uh, the live chats, Join me. I live stream from my channel every Saturday. A marathon, gargantuan live streams with many topics. We go on and on and on for like 10 hours on end. And it's always super fun to talk about all things fashion, passion, pop culture, perfumes, and what have you. So let's get straight to it. I'm going to show you Bunny's crazy bag collection. Let's see the first one. This is one of the bags that I got from that collection. Now, they had it in two this different colorways, black or blue. And of course, I'm sure you guys can tell that it's just a big old I love the oversized. Lighter. These wheels actually do spin, like as if you were going to light. <laughs> just a big giant lighter. Now, yeah. unfortunately, the little like red button doesn't push, but hey. It's real enough, you know what I mean? So it's Totes. like a clutch and you just open it like this. There's magnets and I still have the original paper inside. <laughs> So Bunny got this bag during the lockdown. She didn't really get to use it yet. <laughs> the hardware still has the blue stickers, which is typical of Moschino. So this is a Jeremy Scott Moschino piece from a year or two years ago. And um, a year ago, I guess, year and a half ago. And... Uh, um, yeah, it's a, it's a ginormous clutch. Now, the funny thing about it is, you know, I'm telling you, clutches are coming back. The renaissance of the clutch, mark my words, clutches are coming back. Just saying. You know, my obsession with my Chanel clutches as well. I've made a video on my whole clutch collection. You could check that video out. But this one in particular is fascinating. This uh, ginormous oversized um, Jeremy Scott for Moschino lighter mini thing turned huge. It's very pop for Jeremy to do this for Moschino. Had Franco Moschino himself, if he were still alive today, had he designed this bag, he would have turned it into a political statement of sorts. He would have made it even more Moschino because he is the founder of Moschino. After all, he would have added something, you know, a text on the lighter, something connected to bushfires, to being careful when you're out and about in nature, uh, making a picnic, lighting a fire. He would have added awareness. To, he would politicize. He would have politicized fashion. Franco Moschino always saw fashion as a very, very clear moment for educating people. He would use his fashion always for good, to raise awareness for a lot of injustices in the world. Franco Moschino is one of my favorite designers. He was a uh, Wonderful, wonderful talent, and unfortunately, we lost him too soon to the AIDS pandemic. So let's watch uh, Bunny's second bag. 
Moschino actually did a collab with H and M, and they H and M and Moschino, a lot yeah. of like lock related bags. So it's actually got like metal, like the yeah. lock part is metal. It has yeah, totally. a magnetic closure right here and Classic. one little pocket in the Classic back. Moschino. This is just another super interesting bag because it has so many different like textures and materials and components. <laughs> I love Bunny. She's such a sweetheart. So in this case, she's showcasing the lock bag, uh, which came out a couple of years back. When was it? 2018? Or was it even before that? The collaboration between Moschino and H&M, also designed by Jeremy Scott. In this case, the lock bag, a classic whimsical piece. Very interesting, as Bunny duly noted, the material combinations. We got the kind of aluminum which seems to be an aluminum holding bit, like the handle is actually the aluminum lock of the lock. Then you got the magnetic opening and the bag is quite, it's big. It's bigger than you would think because we have this illusion of thinking that round bags cannot hold much things. And this is the biggest misconception of all bags. I'm telling you, round bags hold, it's always a surprise to me. And I have a couple of round bags in my collection. I'm always surprised as to how much they can hold. And when you think that they can't hold more, they just keep surprising you because they hold more. Um, like, she, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's insane how much, um, I think it has to do with the fact that our brains we visualize a round bag and I think we subconsciously minimize it to its extremities. And then we, we think it's smaller than it is, but in reality, you have to expand the con the physicality of it. It's a bit difficult to explain, but take a completely round spheric bag and try to put stuff in it. You're going to be shocked at how much more it fits than you thought it would. This doesn't happen with square rectangular shaped bags. We have a good feeling for that. We know more or less what's going to fit inside even before we start putting stuff in it. But round bags are always a huge surprise. And I'm also very pleasantly surprised that Bunny knows how to pronounce Moschino the brand correctly. She doesn't do the Moschino or Moschino. She goes for the jugular and pronounces it right. Let's let's see the third bag. This is another bag that came out <laughs> from Moschino the same time practically the lighter bag did. I have to like put it on and then you guys have to just see it like hanging because <laughs> so it's <cute>. a big <laughs> giant motorcycle glove. It's like more than half the size of my body. Like I really don't think I can get it all in frame, but hopefully I am. So yeah, it's just like a big glove <laughs> and I love yeah. it so much. I always love this like black leather motorcycle-esque look, even though I've never ridden a motorcycle in my life. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, in this case, I'm not so sure this bag is made in leather or pleather. It's a very huge bit of leather to kind of make out of one piece. So, um, and I do remember when this bag was on the Moschino website, I just don't remember anymore if the material listed was actually leather or uh, a vinyl. But let's just say for the sake of, of this video that it is leather. Uh, it is again following that same uh, game that Jeremy initiated with a tiny lighter, turning something really tiny into something huge glove that fits a hand. OJ Simpson would have a lot to say about this glove. Let's see if it would have fit that glove in his hand. Wink, wink. Uh, and then a, a glove uh, transformed into a huge piece. Now, you can't really put your hands all the way into the finger compartments of the glove. Those are sealed off. So it's only the rectangular interior of the glove is usable, utilizable uh, to actually put stuff in it. Of course, it's a it's a collector's piece, you know, it's kind of hard to walk around the city with a huge object like that, but why not? It's playing with proportions, it's playing with our notion of proportions. Franco Moschino would have probably played, had, would have probably played with the O.J. Simpson trial. He would have maybe added a text, he would have maybe added a text that said something like, you know, would this glove head fit? without saying any names, you know, there could have been more of a politicized touch to it. That's what Franco Moschino was famous for. This is a really interesting bag. Also uh, good that she, I think there, this was available in several colors. 
it's good that she got that color. A bunny obviously likes whimsical bags. She has a predilection for Moschino in particular because Moschino does the most whimsical ones. So she has a very solid collection when it comes to pop culture and pop references, which is rare to see. That's why I wanted to make this video first dedicated to her collection because you don't find many bag collectors out there that really love fun bags for the love of bags. This is a big YouTuber we have here that has access to funds and money. She could be showcasing to us her 50,000 Birkin and Kelly bags, but no, she has character. She has charm and character and she goes for the fun pieces that not everybody's going to love, that not everybody's going to understand, but she doesn't care. She knows exactly what she wants and what she goes for is very original and a wonderful statement to also and a testament to the originality of certain bags and how much fun it can be to collect bags, even if they're not Birkins and Kellys. So that's a very refreshing thing to see. Thank you for that, Bunny. Let's see one more bag. This is from MM6, and you can wear it as a crossbody Margiela. or a shoulder bag. But it's a freaking motorcycle helmet, you guys. It's <laughs> so glittery, so sparkly. Wow. I've started to realize now that it's like so real that it has to literally just be real. This just it has, has to, be. to be a motorcycle helmet that they added purse straps to and a closable lining inside because i mean it and is the like, I, didn't make this, I wish logo. i had thought of this but i mean it is a purse okay so we have Marta Margiela in this case with the MM6 collection, uh, repurposing certain objects uh, found or creating them, upscaling them, uh, luxurifying them, turning them into objects that you wouldn't consider to use on a daily basis into something totally different. Very conceptual, very typical from Marta Margiela. We are used to that. So it is no surprise that Margiela would have made a piece like that. However, of course, it is always special to see it in somebody's collection because those bags weren't produced in big numbers. They were more of a concept piece, more of an editorial piece, a sort of a piece that was, you know, just made like one for every boutique or you could order it online. But it was, it's a, you know, it's an editorial piece usually used for styling purposes. So to have a, a real bag lover, bag collector out there recognize this piece and buy it for their collection is a huge testament also to how clever Bunny looks for bags and you know it looks all around and she's very well aware of what uh, new fashion items are out there how the fashion world works and uh, she does her research and she does it well because she does hunt down those few pieces that are whimsical but that have really really significance also from a fashion historical point of view um you know this was a really really good good choice let me read a couple of your comments before we get to the next bag um Lori says, back in the late 70s, those motorcycle helmets were the rage. Glitter ones were highly valued, lol. Well, maybe this was, you know that Margiela also recycles um, vintage pieces that they buy in bulk or find, and then they recycle them and they upscale them, modify them, and then uh, they are sold um, as new, but with that kind of recycled context in, in the background. So a lot of uh, either called replicas, replicating older pieces or upscaling pieces. Uh, very fascinating. Uh, Patino Color says, Galliano wishes he could. Oh, the shade thrown at the current artistic director of Margiela. Well, says the vibe uh, Bunny gives off is fantastic. Bunny is a ray of light, you guys. She's a wonderful, positive, positive, shiny, shiny person. So, yeah, I'm very thrilled. Oh, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> um, yes, Patino Color, their candy wrapper bag from MM6. And then when Margiela did the collaboration with H&M, remember they brought back that kind of candy wrapper bag in the H&M collection as well? I think they made it in silver. Um, <laughs> Bella says, oh my God, so extra. I love it. Debbie says, Jacob, did you know that Bunny also has a pair of the teddy overalls? No, I had no clue. The teddy bear with the Moschino, interesting. I wonder if she has the sample or the actual one that went into production. Even when she has bought Louis Vuitton and Gucci, she gets the more rare pieces and unique ones. Yes, Louis, 
definitely. Bunny has a great sense of whimsical style. Um, yeah, 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 Patino Color. They also made it in hot pink for H&M. Let's watch the next bag, shall we? So, once again, name that brand. If you're guessing Moschino, Moschino, you'd be right. So, Moschino did an entire, like, Halloween launch in 2019. And there was honestly so many pieces that I wanted, but I just got this one. Me too. So, they actually offered this bag in two different colorways, a white pumpkin and a traditional jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. And it's actually, it was a like, gold a pumpkin. completely hard shell purse. And it has this nice strap on it, which, you know, I mean, it's not like a crossbody or anything. Although, like, you can completely take this strap yeah. off. And so, I mean, technically, if you had another purse or another strap, like, literally, nobody is stopping you from changing it out. Uh, but I don't know. I just kind of like it the way that it is. And so, yeah, he is just so cool looking. I love this. Me so too. much. Love and it to bits. once again, they are using the Moschino Magical Magnet. And it actually, like, see, I'm, I'm struggling. Uh, the magnet is, like, really, really strong because there's actually two magnets. And you could fit probably a considerable amount of yeah. items in there. A lot. Like, I could fill a lot of candy in here. <laughs> candy. <laughs> um... You can fit a lot of candy in this one. <laughs> yes, so correct. You have seen, I. this is a bag that Bunny and I share. We both have it. I mean, she has hers, I have mine. Uh, it, it is not true, however, that Moschino made a white pumpkin. They made a golden pumpkin and a, an orange pumpkin. But of course, you got to get the orange one. Now, in terms of this um, belt coming off, you, you can, but uh, it is a pleather. It's not leather. This is plastic. And it has glazing, which I hate. But there was no other way of getting this bag unless it was glazed. So, But I'm not going to abuse it and use it. It's very fragile. The plastic, the molded, the nylon, the actual... Uh, I think this has been a cast nylon. I don't think this is a 3D print. Uh, but then they screwed on metal rivets to it. Very delicate. You know that the plastic can just crack at any moment when it has the metal screws attached to it so and it's made in china this is a moschino piece that was not made in italy so it's a fragile piece okay it does has it does have its neoprene on the inside i have done a review of this bag so you can check it out on my channel but as i was saying before it contains it can fit way more than you think it can fit so bunny kudos to you for getting the actual orange pumpkin but Bunny, here's a little tip for you. I don't know, maybe you do have it in your collection, but here's just a little bit to share with you of my crazy bag collection. One, just to keep it round, uh, is uh, my favorite uh, Jeremy Scott for uh, Adidas bag, the best one he made. While we're, you know, showcasing most of the bags Bunny showed us were from uh, Moschino so, and Jeremy Scott. I am wearing Jeremy Scott for Adidas. This is a... A sample piece that never actually made it into production, but then I got the Moschino Barbie uh, oversized chain, and then I got the Adidas, uh, Jeremy for Adidas uh, Originals tank top. So we're all on trend and topic, and we're also celebrating the fact that Jeremy Scott is returning to Adidas. Looking forward to what he has to offer there. You can also check out my video uh, posted on what is actually coming from Jeremy Scott uh, for Adidas card section up above. This little beauty here is an actual real basketball. And I love, I mean, listen, there have been basketball bags made in the past and they're more or less elegant, luxurious, beautifully done. But I love the rawness of this one. It is an actual basketball from Adidas that's slit open, real or hardcore basketball material. That when you open up, you know, it has the black lining inside with the Jeremy logo right there. And just to show you how it's a real basketball, here we got the little pumping hole, right? To pump it with air. And on the inside, I can't show you because we can't kind of put the camera in here. You actually feel the little kind of little dinky thing in there that you kind of stick the air to pump the air inside of there. So this is, they literally repurposed 
of full-blown basketball. They have printed Jeremy Paris, and then you have Jeremy's face here, but it's very kind of a black outlined face of Jeremy Scott. And in the back, you got the Adidas logo. I mean, this is the love of my life. This bag, it just feels like holding a real basketball in your hands. You could wear it like this, or you could wear it crossbody. And of course, if you wanted to take this crossbody strap off, you can, because it's detachable. And then another thing I wanted to show Bunny and you guys, I don't know if Bunny also knows about this. There was a capsule collection that Jeremy Scott did with Adidas, uh, not with Adidas, with Moschino, uh, as he does often, dedicated to different topics, different brands, trends. You know, he did stuff with the Powerpuff Girls, uh, with The Sims, with Barbie, uh, Transformers. Oh my gosh, you name it, he's done it. Well, this one is still, this one is straight from the Fashion Bunker archives. It's still wrapped in its original foliage because I have to preserve. Moschino metal chains are very, very, they oxidize very easily. So uh, what Jeremy uh, Scott did with Moschino is also a collaboration with My Little Pony. So ooh, we have this little beauty here. This one is a bag with a chain. And this is the same type of um, canvas material that Louis Vuitton uses for their monogram canvases and what have you. So we have this gorgeous My Little Pony bag. And <laughs> it's kind of like a cutout. The idea is of it being flat and a cutout. But when you turn it in the back, hold on. This is how big the bag is. It's a little rectangular camera bag that is hiding behind the My Little Pony. And yes, the canvas utilized in the back is also faded. They've done a little kind of spray paint there or airbrushing from blue, faded yellow into white. So you see, it's not just randomly placed white uh, canvas, but it has a tint to it, very 80s. And this is in fact the 80s version of the um, My Little Pony. I also have another one. I have three of them, actually. I also have a backpack, but I'm going to show you. There's a classic backpack, but then there's also the butterfly backpack. This is adorable. It's also an 80s My Little Pony design. If I move in really close and we're not anymore in the spotlights, you could see more of the color of that kind of pastel -y, beautiful 80s pink color. In the back, the bag is also pink with that kind of faded from darker rose to a lighter rose. So um, this one comes with detachable straps. So you can wear it as a clutch, but you can attach the straps to turn this into a backpack. Now the straps are still originally packed. They have a very special uh, metallic coated leather. So they're still wrapped in their original foliage. Uh, this one is purchased for the Fashion Bunker archives. Um, this one does not see often the day of light because it's just such a magnificent piece. But uh, you can see here, the you see the metallic leather that's utilized. You can see it also at the bottom, there and there. So the entire straps that are detachable, the two straps that go then as shoulder straps for the backpack, they're made in that same leather. Oh, the same leather as the pull tab here. It's a lambskin metallic blue, like 80s blue, gem and the holograms blue. So I'm not sure if Bunny, if you got these bags, but if you do, kudos to you. If you don't, they're worth hunting down. They're amazing. And the pink is just to die for. Just sharing with you, I have many more, but this is just a little highlight of a couple of, uh, of bags that uh, that definitely deserve more attention that haven't received much attention, really. I mean, in the um, history you know, of bags, or let's say in the, in the past, last 10 years of all the bag releases out there, these are the ones that kind of disappeared, you know? Not many people know about them. Uh, of course, I have many more to showcase, but maybe in some upcoming... Um, sharing of your crazy bag collections, I can kind of 
dip into my collection and share with you. So I showcase your collection and then I showcase a couple of pieces of mine. Let's not just burn it all out in one video, <laughs> right? So let me get to your chats a little bit. That was kind of all I wanted to say. Uh, if you do want to send me pictures of your crazy bag collection, you can. Uh, just email them to me at superdacob at gmail.com. Can also, if it's a short video, you could also send a video, but uh, yeah, and we could make another video with that if you if you're interested to share your crazy bag collection with me. So Lynn's review says so many creative bags. Vel says the My Little Pony bags are so cute; they're adorable. They are adorable. Uh, Debbie says my dad would have made me one in the day if I had showed him that. LOL. Patina Color says, did Chanel make a basketball one too? Uh, Chanel actually made a real basketball. <laughs> and Chanel also made a chain holder for a basketball, but not a basketball bag. I have a real soft spot for My Little Pony, says LOD. The 80s ones, though. Yeah, these are the 80s ones. This is the original drawings from the 80s. This is the original artwork from the 80s that uh, Jeremy got the rights to to utilize uh, for Moschino. So, super cute. But he did add the Moschino logo right there. There. Um, Jack says, oh my god, the glove, yes! Did you see Violet Chachki at the Met Gala wearing the Moschino glove dress? No, I have not. But this was, this was a while ago. Maybe I have then. I keep forgetting that we didn't really do the Met Gala because of lockdown. Duh. Uh, Junior Casimiro says, Hey, Jacob, can't wait for you to make a special Louis Vuitton video on the super iconic bags, the Speedy, the Neverfull, the Alma, the stories and fashion collabs behind these bags. Well, I can tell you already now, we all know that the Alma was apparently, allegedly, made for Coco Chanel. It was a gift of the Vuitton family to Coco Chanel and... I have never seen a photo of her actually wearing a Louis Vuitton bag because I don't think she would have wanted to promote them. But you never know, in the archives there might be a photo of Coco Chanel walking around Paris with an Alma. Alma Bibi, probably. I mean, Coco Chanel was tiny, so she probably had a smaller one. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thumb up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and push the join button next to the subscription button to become a member today. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob all spelled together over there as well. Gain access to extra perks there as well, such as, but not limited to, being listed in the scrolling bar at the end of every video as a co-producer of the Fashion Bunker. <laughs> you can also follow me on social media. Super Jacob, all spelled together on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can follow me also on my Chanel shenanigans on two uh, Chanel dedicated Instagram profiles. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together, uh, dedicated to my Chanel collection. The other one is called Coco Chanel Privé, dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel. Patino says, I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Thank you, dear. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Kevin, Ferris is awesome stuff. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you so much, Kevin. And thank you, Bunny for sharing with the world your lovely bag collection, too. Vel says, fabulous segment, thank you. Thank you, Vel. Elodie says, thanks, Jacob. Um, Jack says, oh my god, the glove. So, I wonder, although I gotta say, one of my favorite dresses ever made, two of them, were from Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. The one that they actually made in the show with the uh, flip-flops, <laughs> you know? the flip-flop dress, and the second one that they wanted to make in the movie, but they couldn't because they didn't get the rights, but when they got nominated for the Oscar and then won the Oscar, actually, for co Best Costume Design in a Movie, the one that won the Oscar, the costume designer got the rights by American Express just for one night and all um, to make a dress out of American Express gold, the gold credit card dress uh, that, that was valid only one night. All the credit cards were expiring right after the Oscars. Now that dress, yes! <laughs> that dress, yes. <gasps> There's a t-shirt right there, you guys. Hashtag that dress, yes. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.